guys, Nicole Hanchi here with a quick tutorial on some of my favorite apps for creating images from my phone. So if you are on the go like I am and kind of having to fit things in the nooks and crannies of your day, these are some fantastic apps that I recommend, that I love to use, that I feel make um, creating images super easy and quick. Now, of course, you can see I have an iPhone, so these may be a little different for you if you have an Android, but you'll just have to search for them. But the first one I'm going to show you is Instaquote, and like I said, this is going to be super quick, high-level overview. I just want you guys to be aware of these apps so you can download them and start to play with them, because ultimately, you diving in and playing around um, is what's going to get you to really enjoying using these and creating images for your brand. So Instaquote. This is one of my favorite starting points. I love to use Instaquote just to kind of start putting something together because, um, and actually, let me see if I can start from scratch. Let me just, I guess I should have turned off my Facebook notifications, huh? That would have helped. Okay, so, oh, it came in pulling up an image. Let me see if I can get back out. Okay, you know what, that's okay. When it pulls up, typically what it's gonna pull up is this, I think it's this one, there we go. That's what it's gonna look when you first log in. You're gonna have sort of like this blank slate. As you can see across the bottom, you have all of these free. You can access any one of these background images totally for free, um, or of course you can upload any picture from your camera, um, that you have. You're going to have to pull it in from your camera roll. So somehow, whatever you want to use, you've got to have it have it saved there. So um, for this one, let's just keep it simple just to kind of help you start off. I'm just going to choose this one here. That's the one that I had loaded in there. Um, now, as you get a little more wild and crazy, if you click here, this will give you more options for different things you can pull in. As you can see, this will pull straight from your camera roll, or you can purchase these um, background packs if you like, you know, if you want to have nature images at your disposal, pictures of the sky and the sea and just things that really inspire people, you can purchase this, um, this image pack, but you don't have to. Um, you can still use those free images and that's what I'm going to use today just to show you that you can create a free image with, with InstaQuote. So um, as you can see here, it tells me exactly what to do. I just have to double tap to start writing. Now this piece here at the top is where I will write, you know, whatever it is I want to say. And then down here I'll put my name. Um, but let's just say you're really pressed for time and you're short on inspiration for the day and you just want to get something posted and you just really don't know what the heck you want to say. But that's okay because there's help. So this little image down here is going to basically scroll you through a variety of inspirational messages by, you know, some famous people. Uh, people that you've heard of, so I'm just going to go ahead and scroll through a few just to just to kind of show you. So you can see here at the top, the, the, the quote is there and the name is below, so you don't have to do anything but just click until you decide. Um, now, like, a, so it's Dr. Seuss week, both of my kids are celebrating at school, so why don't we just stick with a Dr. Seuss um, inspirational message for this particular tutorial. When you've landed on what it is that you want and you've got your content the way you want it, just click up here and it'll just flow it right into your image. Then you can kind of come down here and finesse a little bit. So let's just say, oh, you know, that text just isn't popping enough for you. You really want it to stick out a little bit more. You can come into this font area. Nope. Whoop. Oh, I've lost my mind there. You can come. No, let's start here. We're going to come in here. And we're going to make it, I like to do this, we're going to make it black. Because I feel like, look at the difference, it just really stands out a lot more when you when you kind of make the text a little darker and, and richer. So you can make it whatever color you want. As you see, you have lots to pick from. So whatever suits you, whatever floats your boat. And then we're going to come into this font area, and this is where you can kind of manipulate the font a little bit, um, make the text larger make it smaller, um, move it to the left or to the right. Maybe you've got an actual image in here that you want to show more of, and you kind of need the text to be over to the left a little bit more or over to the right a little bit more. Um, you see I just literally click a button, and it moves the text for me. So super easy. Um, let's say you feel like that's spaced out a little too much. You, um, see how I'm just kind of 
that's not letting me do it. I guess it's it's crunched as it's going to be. So you can compact or expand your line spacing. Um, so do you see how easy it was for me to just kind of flow through all that? If you're thinking, Ugh, I really don't like that green background, no problem. You just scroll through, and I mean, obviously these are kind of pre-programmed with the with the fonts as well, but you can change absolutely every element um, after the fact. So let's just leave it at, at this. Um, when you're finished and you have it just as you like it, just click on this little icon down here on the bottom, and then let it know that you're gonna save to the camera roll, and boom, you're done. You have an image created in InstaQuote. Now I'm gonna take you to my next, um, and I'd have to say this is probably my most favorite app of all, Studio. So what I would do sometimes is create an image in InstaQuote, much like you just saw me do, and then I'll pull it into Studio. So I'm gonna click on this plus button down here. You can see that it's gonna let me take a picture as well. Take a picture of myself doing a tutorial. And I'm just gonna pull this straight in from my uh, camera roll. So there it is. So I've got it there, and it's kind of a, it's kind of layer one. That's how Studio sees it. And now below, you see all of these different things that you can add in layers. You can put in different text, you can filter it, you can add in shapes. Um, this is one of my favorite things that I like to do. I like to you know throw in an arrow and just kind of highlight specific word or something, or just kind of make people look. You see here, I'm just rotating it all around. Look at all that that you can do. And then I come into the color wheel and I'm gonna make it yellow. Because I think yellow will stand out nicely with this. And let's just say I'm gonna go into the lines area there and I'm gonna find my favorite line. I'm gonna make my line yellow. And I'm gonna make sure that people see this line right here because it's super important. So I'm gonna put that yellow line there. And you know, I mean, I could go on and on. I can put crops around the outside and make a border. I mean, so many, you could put mustaches on it if you want, like, you know, endless, endless, endless cool stuff you can do. So this is one of my favorite places to play and just kind of make images a little more fun, add in some cool stuff that I think will really draw people's eye to my image. And then when I'm finished, um, and, and I encourage you to come in here and just explore and play because that's ultimately what it's gonna take for you to become comfortable. So I click finish and it's automatically gonna save it into my camera roll. I don't have to press another thing. Now, it'll give you, just as InstaQuote did, it'll give you the option to load it straight into a social media platform, but I never do that because of my the way my process is. I, I actually like to, to um, upload it myself because I have my own content templates that I use with my hashtags and so on. So. Um, but you can do, you can, you can do this. You can load it straight away into Instagram right from here if you want to. Totally up to you. So that is that for studio. And like I said, you can come in and play around and you can remix other people's stuff and just have a ball. Um, now this next on our journey of imaging, I'm going to take you to pick stitch. Pick stitch is cool because you can actually stitch multiple pictures together. So, you know, with Instagram, you're really limited. You can only have one image there at a time for, you know, per post. But, you know, you can use pick stitch to bring multiple images together if you've, if you've got a couple, two or three, and, and that will create it into one image that you can then post up on the Instagram. So these are all of the cool layouts. You can even just bring in one image if you want to put a cool border around it. Just use this template here. If you want to bring in a few, I mean, this, you know, you'd have a long skinny image that you could put here and then three smaller ones. You get the idea, four equal, you know, square images here. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, um, you just click on it. Yes. Okay. Once you're into the template, you just click here, boop, boop, and select the image that you want to bring in. Simple as that. Okay, works for me. And then I'm gonna click here again, boom, boom, and I'm going to use this one. That's what I had in there just because it's there. So now I have this. I've got these two stitched together. They're going to export as one image. 
and I can come up here if I want to, and I can make this border whatever color I want to. So I would just click up here at the top, select whatever color. You can even purchase uh, border packages and have like zebra stripes and leopard, pink leopard dots and whatever the heck it is that you want to do. Um, I wonder if I can show you those. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> so you can go crazy for 99 cents and put all kinds of cool borders around your images if that suits you and fits your brand. So when you're all said and done and you've got your picture stitched together and you've put your border on and you're super good with it, just click export. That's all there is to it and you're done. You tell it, you know, if you want to share it somewhere, like I said, I, I don't typically put it straight into, you know, a social media. I save it just to my, my phone and then I use it as I want to. So. I'm just going to put it right there in my photo album. Done. And on our tour, this is our last stop, vid stitch. Vid stitch. Same concept as pick stitch, but you can actually stitch in a video with it. I'm not actually going to do this because I'm running out of time here. Um, but you get the point. You see the templates here? You can choose one video. And then you can stitch in, you know, either one image or a couple of images or three images along with the video. So this is super cool. If you've got a little message that you want to convey, but you, maybe you've got some text that you feel is really important for people to, you know, visually see, stitch it together, you know, create it in, you know, a couple of separate pieces and then just bring it all together. You can do the same thing here as, as you can in pick stitch in terms of adding super bright borders to make it stand out and have fun with it. Um, these are all free to you. All of these layouts here, um, if you want to get even more fancy, you can you know, unlock these and, and do a lot more, but it's not necessary. These will suit you just fine, especially if you're just getting started. Um, I've personally never had a need for this, but if you really get into it, you may. Um, and that is all there is. So today we have covered my top four recommended um, image creation apps that I use for my phone, from my iPhone. InstaQuote was the first. We looked at Studio, which I love for adding those cool elements. Then we also talked about Pick Stitch for bringing multiple images together and adding bright borders. And then Vid Stitch as well if you want to bring um, a video into the mix. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if so, let me know below with a comment. Um, and if you have any questions, also let me know. So take care, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.